Hello, Cancer. I'm terribly sorry, but I did your reading and I was just at the wrap up when my iPhone decided it had no more storage left, so just cut the video off. So rather than try and splice two pieces together, I left the cards where they lay and I'll um, give you the breakdown uh, as I had it. Um, now, this is uh, for uh, your partner. The reading that I'm doing now is called Why Won't They Commit? Uh, this was a special request from a subscriber who wanted to ask that question. So um, uh, I did uh, Libra first because that's who requested it. And so if you have uh, a special request like that, you can uh, do the same. Uh, but for cancer, uh, why won't they commit or why they never did commit so it's for a person that you no longer have in your life that you never knew why they um, just faded away or um, uh, perhaps you're currently in a relationship that you don't feel is going anywhere or you don't feel like they're all in so um, to start with your love interest their energies um, currently are the uh, king of wands uh, in the reverse. Now, uh, this king um, is uh, in the reverse. Uh, this, this is someone who's impulsive and flighty and is not, um, not someone that really uh, is ready to settle down. Uh, this isn't a stable individual right now. Um, they're still doing a lot of run around. They're flitting here and flitting there. Um, and in the reason for their lack of commitment at this point is I've got the seven of coins in the reverse. And this indicates a person that really doesn't have vision for the future. They, they, they don't plan well. Um, so th this hasn't occurred. They're, they're not thinking of the future. But nothing long term, certainly. Uh, they don't have any vision. And... Um, which is interesting because what I get as far as what helps the situation is basically vision. <laughs> vision for the future, making plans, thinking ahead. Um, this is the Three of Wands. Um, and so, it, it, yeah, everything about this card is the opposite of uh, the card that preceded it. Um, so, obviously, this is what they need to do. They need to look towards the future um, if, if they want this to to work. Um, now in the um, what's blocking this, I, I'm getting the king of pentacles in the upright. Um, and that this it's hard to to figure out why this would be a block except that if they feel like this is what they need to be to move forward, this certainly is not what they are. They're like the polar opposite of this king. This this king of wands is the absolute reverse. You know, uh, actually, it's in the reverse. Is and it is the absolute reverse of what the king of coins is in the upright. This is someone who ha has control, who is um, secure. Um, they're disciplined. Um, and this is not what this person is, your current love interest. So that certainly would be, that would be why this would be in the blocking column. Um, and as far as how it's made you feel or what, uh, what you think about the situation is, I've got the fine five of coins in the upright, um, which, you know, uh, I hear it said over and over, left out in the cold. And that's basically what it is. You feel isolated because of the situation you don't feel like they're including you in a, a future plan uh, the reality is they're not even making future plans which probably makes you feel pretty awful um, so the five of Pentacles in reverse is all of those things uh, oh, excuse me in, in the upright it's uh, it's a it's a lack of fulfillment it's uh, financial loss or uh, basically I'm, I'm seeing insecurity. You don't feel secure in a situation where someone's not planning for the future. 
Uh, you know that it would be beneficial to, to make a plan, to look forward, um, but that's not happening. Um, in fact, uh, again, with the uh, page of pentacles or coins uh, in the reverse, uh, that mirrors uh, a, a lot of these other cards, these, these three together in specific. This, this indicates a lack of progress. This is not going to go anywhere. Um, a there's no planning. There's no long-term uh, thinking going on. Um, so th it doesn't look good. Uh, for this uh, this particular situation, this particular love interest, um, and the final outcome, or or perhaps what is next. And in this case, it looks like probably the final outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. And um, there again, um, this is an imbalance. Um, it sounds to me like you're the person with the foresight. You're the person that wants to think about the future, wants to make a plan, but this person is not including you in a plan of any kind and not making any plans that, that uh, you know, for their life or for your future together. Um, they are being irresponsible and uh, they're not progressing, they're not growing, they're not planning. They're only focused on the short term. Um, and that... Uh, so that, that makes you feel um, like this is not balanced. And this is not balanced. You, um, it's not just your, your feeling. You're absolutely right. <laughs> this person is, uh, they don't sound like um, they've made it uh, a bowl full of cherries for you. It sounds like, um, uh, I don't know, it doesn't sound healthy to me for you. Uh, they they seem like they really don't care, um, or maybe they're just not capable of uh, thinking ahead or making a plan. Um, but I'm I'm gonna pull a work your light card just just as a, as an advice or message from spirit uh, directly for you, and uh, hope I have enough memory to get through this reading because we're almost done. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, for your advice or message from Spirit, we have Soul Family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. So that tells me that, you, you know, that your Soul Family is, is people that you feel very close to, people that you probably have run into over and over again through your many lives. Um, this sounds to me like uh, it's time for you to reach out uh, for support uh, to some of those folks because um, you're not getting what you need uh, from this person. This person doesn't seem like they're ready to commit at all. Um, and I'm sorry if that's a hurtful uh, cancer, but uh, that's, uh, that's the current situation. And uh, join me next time. I'm going to be doing a Is This My Soulmate reading. And, you know, sometimes even if it's something that looks like a mess could be a soulmate, um, or someone that you've, or in your soul family, because um, sometimes they're a blessing and sometimes they're a lesson. So um, join me next time. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.